So, this session will start Raspberry Pi programming basics. So, the topic here is Raspberry Pi programming basics, what are the different libraries and what are the different methods that you are going to uh, use for writing the programs. So, for that basic library is rpi.gpio, gpio we have already seen general, uh, general purpose input output pins where Raspberry Pi consists of 40 GPIO pins. Using those pins we are going to implement different different programs. So, to write the program for that these are the basics programming. So, rpi.gpio API is a library to launch the input and output pins. The set of python files and the source is included with the operating system Raspbian OS or you can also use Noops operating system. These are of Linux based. So, the uh, method setup rpi.gpio. So, if you use this the uh, library which is consisting of the all GPIO pins will be inbuilt in your program. RPI.GPIO library is available in Raspbian operating system by default. You are not going to install in your system. So, this Raspberry Pi consists of SD card. In that SD card itself, we are installing Raspberry Pi, Raspbian OS or Noobs operating system. So, when you are inserting SD card into Raspberry Pi, uh, all the libraries can be used. So, in order to use in a particular program, you need to set up rpi.gpio library. So, in order to use this rpi.gpio in the python script you need to uh, use the statement on top of your file. So, in every program you are going to write the top line as import rpi.gpio as gpio. So, here you are importing the library rpi.gpio as general out, uh, purpose input output pins of your Raspberry Pi. In order to do that you need to import this line as a first line in every program. So, next uh, the pin numbering declaration. So, here the pin numbering declaration schemes are of two types uh, GPIO dot board, GPIO dot BCM. So, GPIO dot board means here numbering scheme will follow the pin numbers will follow all the pin numbers on the header pin 1. Uh, or if you are using the another screen that is gpio.bcm, in BCM the Broadcom chip specific pin numbers will be there. So, those pin numbers are followed from low level numbering system defined by Raspberry Pi Broadcom chip brain. So, th this is up to the programmer what is the type of pin numbering scheme you are following. If you are using gpio.bcm, so you need to remember all that 40 pins you need to remember pin 1 represents what, pin 2 represent what, the pin diagram everything you should remember if you are using uh, gpio.bcm numbering scheme in your program. If suppose you are using gpio.board, then alternately you can use pin 1, 2, 3 like that you can use the pins, no need of remembering the configuration of the pin. So, example if you take here to specify in your code which numbering system that you are using, that you are going to specify using gpio.setMode function. Set mode function will tell us which type of numbering scheme you are going to use in your uh, programming. So, example how you are going to use this method is gpio.setMode in bracket you are going to write gpio.bcm whether you are using bcm numbering scheme or whether you are using board scheme that you are going to mention in set mode method. So, this will activate Broadcom chip specifically with the pin numbers in the board. So, here the note that you should remember here both the import and set mode lines of the code are required if you want to use GPIO pins in the python. So, these two lines are important when you are writing the program using python programming language. Next setting up a pin mode. So, here which pin mode you are setting it as input or which pin mode you are setting it as output. For that you have a method called as gpio.setup. So, in this setup method you are having two arguments that is pin number and the pin mode. So, this is the function you are going to use. Example you can see here gpio.setup 18 comma gpio.output. The meaning of this is 18th pin of Raspberry Pi. Out of those 40 pins, 18th pin you are selecting as an output pin. 
So, that is what you are representing here, this is pin number and it what mode you are selecting either as an output or as an input. So, remember that pin number will be changed if you are using the board numbering system. Again, if you are using BCM, the pin numbers will change. If you are using board, then pin, pin numbers will change. It will depend upon the numbering scheme, whatever you are choosing. So, example GPA dot set mode, GPA dot board here. In the same way, you can write GPA dot BCM. Next, GPIO setup 18 comma GPI pin dot out or you can use these two lines GPI dot set mode, GPI dot board, GPI setup 12 comma GPIO output. So, what is the difference between these two lines is what is the numbering scheme you are following? First two lines says if you are following BCM, BCM numbering scheme method then 18th pin is considered as output. Same pin if you are using GPI dot board it is 12th pin. So, this is what uh, you, you are going to remember depending upon the numbering scheme the number of the pin will change. So, the in above code same physical pin is used but with different numbering scheme here 12 or 18 is same in the board representation but what is the numbering scheme you are selecting is important. Next, the, uh, this is what we are talking about in the previous slides, GPIO pins, these are the 40 pins. So, the elaborate diagram of this, if you see a Raspberry Pi, you will be seeing pins like this. So, this is the elaborating configuration diagram, which pin represents what, like pin 1 power pin, pin 2 5 volts power pin like this. So, these are all the 40 pins. So, this configuration you should remember if you are using BCM, if you are using uh, Bro board then 1, 2, 3, 4 like this you can assume the pins and then write the code. Next uh, this is BCM pin numbers. So, same thing here the, the, it will vary depending upon the numbering scheme. So, previous if you want to see, see this is the board and this slide tells us BCM pin names. Next, the basic commands that you are going to use in writing the programming is GPA dot setup pin, pin comma GPIO whether you are selecting that pin as in or out, GPA dot setup pin comma GPA dot out that means you are selecting the pin as in the output mode, GPA dot input comma uh, in the bracket that is the uh, argument you are passing to this method is pin or GPA dot output pin comma state. Okay, so, from here uh, theoretically or lab parallelly you can study, the theory we are studying and as well as we are uh, doing the program here, but same program carries out in your lab also. So, from this slide whatever we are seeing it, it is parallelly we are learning theory as well as the program. So, first program is about lead glowing. So, the programs are same, but previously you have done these programs using Arduino board. Now, we are uh, doing with the Raspberry Pi. So, first program deals with controlling the lead, glowing the lead on and off. So, for that just the theory, to pur theory purpose we are keeping this slide, this you have already seen in the previous units. So, lead allows the flow of current in the forward direction and blocks the current in the reverse direction. This is the functionality of lead. The lead indicates two terminals namely anode and cathode. The symbol of the lead is, the, this is the symbol for the lead. So, first uh, program here interfacing lead with Raspberry Pi. So, the, this is the Raspberry Pi and this is the breadboard. Using the breadboard how you are going to connect in order to glow this lead on and off. So, for doing this we are writing a program. So, this is the program for controlling lead on and off. So, first uh, as we have seen before import RPA dot GPIO as GPIO in order to imp in, uh, uh, import the libraries into the program. Next import time. So, time you are using because you are using time dot sleep time dot sleep. So, that means when you are oning the uh, lead when lead is on you are waiting for some time and then you are, uh, the lead is off. In order to do that you are using time dot sleep method. So, this is there in this library that is why we are importing time. Next GPIO dot set mode, GPIO dot BCM we are selecting numbering scheme, GPIO dot setup here we are selecting 18th pin as output that means you are going to connect 18th pin of Raspberry Pi to the LED that is the meaning here, LED, LED you are having two pins one is for input and one is for the output. So, the output pin you are connecting to the 18th pin of Raspberry Pi board. 
So, in order to make the lead continuously glow on and off, we are using a while loop while true GPA dot output 18 true, true is lead is on. We are waiting for some time and then using GPA dot output 18 comma false, false here represent lead is off here. So, on and off continuously it will happen. So, the output you can see on the screen here. So, the lead is glowing on and off continuously using the program.